next one is totally off the wall here, and that is to not use transaction checklists. I am a checklist queen. I used transaction checklists from my very first transaction, and I just can't even imagine being a real estate agent and not having transaction checklists. Now, here's the scary thing about that is I did a, a survey a while back asking real estate agents. I did an actual live workshop on transaction checklists, and I did a survey asking people if they use transaction checklists on a regular basis. And literally everyone who responded said no. A hundred percent of the people who responded said they did not currently use transaction checklists. And I, I mean, I, I guess if you can run a business, not, but you know, a real estate transaction, you know, is complicated. There's a lot of moving pieces and parts. And if you're doing two or three or four at the same time or more, um, and you're not keeping track of what needs to get done and what other people need to be doing, then you're not providing an exceptional client experience. You're not. And I, I mean, I have a good memory. I'm a very organized person. I'm very customer service oriented. And by golly, I had a checklist up until the very last day of my career. And so, especially if you want to do more business, if you want to, you know, do 36 transactions a year, 50 transactions a year, even 20 or 30 a year, which everybody can do 36. Anyway, um, you've got to have checklists and you've got to use them. And how many, I mean, I remember during the peak of my career, it was one of my, my busiest years. And for some reason I had this transaction. I mean, I had this new listing. That's what it was. It was a new listing. And for some reason, I forgot to implement my transaction checklist. I had them automated on my top producer. And I messed up on that transaction over and over again. I mean, it only took me a few days to figure out that I hadn't loaded my, my checklist. And so I fixed it. But just in the first two or three days of putting this listing on the market, the stuff I forgot to do was ridiculous. And I was like, oh boy. You know, that was a close call. And actually the funny thing was it ended up being a very stressful transaction because it got off to such a rough start. And I just looked like an idiot from the beginning because I forgot to do so many things in those first um, few days of the listing. So anyway, that stupid thing number, um, I don't know what number nine maybe, is to try to practice real estate without transaction checklists. 